Hello, hello, hello. This is Zipika from MyTutorialRack.com. Now, in this tutorial, we are going to configure that chat on our site. So remember, I showed you the site. And now what you're going to see is in the bottom right hand side, we are going to have this chat pop up enable. And through this chat pop up, customers will be able to communicate with the call center agent. There are certain steps that are involved. If you are familiar with Service Console, you know how to do how to enable chat. But if you are not aware of that, do not worry. I'm going to show you step by step how do we enable chat on our site. Before we go ahead and jump into the technicalities of it, let me tell you, you have two parts of this, right? You have a site. This is the site that customers are going to visit, right? And on the site, you're going to have this chat available and customer can click on this chat uh, and then they'll open up a pop-up and they'll start communicating. This is you, the site that is available to the public or basically to your customers. There is a Salesforce side of it, right? Now, once the chat is there, somebody from the call center has to respond to those chat, right? So in order to respond to those chat messages, there has to be something at the call center side, right? So we need to add this chat agent, or we can say chat session in the service console as well, right? So there are two parts of it. One is to enable it on the site. The second is to have a receiving end as well, where the call center agent is going to communicate to the customer, right? So what are the steps involved? So the first thing is we are going to provide this functionality on our service console of the chatting with the customer. Then we are going to create a queue. What is a queue? Queue is nothing but whenever these messages are coming from the customer, it will be added to a queue. Okay. So whenever you chat on a site, you'll see, you'll see a message saying, Hey, you are number two in the queue or you're number five in the queue means there are four messages or four people ahead of you. And um, so there is, those messages are added to a queue as they come in, they'll keep adding it. And now there will be somebody from the customer service. They'll keep responding. They'll pick one of the item from the chat from the queue and they'll start responding. Similarly, the next item comes up. Another call center agent is going to pick it up and they'll re start responding to that. Right? So this is how you have to establish a queue first. Those messages will be added to the queue. Now this queue access you have to provide to your call center agents, right? Because if the call center agent doesn't have the access to the queue, they won't be able to see the messages. So then you have to enable the access to the queue. So we are going to create a chat agent. And then the last piece of the puzzle is to have this chat session available on the service console app. So once you add that chat session, whenever a message comes from the customer, the call center agent is going to see in their service console. One more time, I'm going to tell you what we are going to do. There is four steps involved. What is the step number one? The step number one is we are going to create a queue and through this queue is these messages that are coming from the customer are going to be added to the queue. Then we are going to configure the chat agent. Then we are going to add this chat agent, basically chat session to the service console. This is happening at the Salesforce backend. Okay. This is basically on your service console. This step, which is the fourth one, this is happening on the site, right? So now on the site also, you need a place where somebody from the customer side will be able to chat, right? So you want that chat to be available on the customer site. Having chat enable available on the customer site is not going to do anything if there is not anybody at the call center to ask, answer those questions. So we have to establish that connection. Enough of the theory, let's get into the practical. So let me go back here and we are going over to the site. This is how our site is currently looking like. You can see here, this is the how the site looks. And by, by the end of it, you're going to see a chat available at the bottom corner. So how do we do that? First thing first, if you want to go back, you have to, you have, you can go click on this top left hand side and go over to the Salesforce setup. This is going to take you back to the setup here. Now we have to go over to the service setup. So we'll click on the service setup. And the first thing is there is multiple functionalities that are available. And out of this whole uh, list of items that we can enable, 
we are going to enable the chat with the customers okay so this is what i'm going to do now this is where you will be creating your queue okay so this is chat with the customer i'm going to hit the start and here i'll say queue name is i'll call it as web support now name this group so group is basically the group of users now how do you want to address those group of users so we'll say chat agents let's say we'll call chat agents for web support let's say this is the name of the group now who do you want to add right now since we are we only have one user that's fine so i'm going to add myself i am the chat agent okay so this is i'm adding myself uh, to this queue and then hit the next here here you can configure your agents workload how much capacity they have and all that okay so here i'm going to leave it to default hit next it's asking you let's make chat work on your site so you have to provide the url for the site right so where is the url the url is right here this is the url of the site in order to get it you just go over to the uh, site here and whatever the link for all sites under digital experience that's where it will bring you to this page and then you go to the url you copy this url over here next thing is we're going to click on the next button and what is your type now through this chat are you linking chat with the leads or you are linking with the cases this is more of a support site right so i'm going to choose the second option which is the service and then i'm going to hit the next here don't leave your customers hanging create a support form to let visitor log a case when your team is off duty now this functionality we already have right we have that support um contact support button where you when you click on it it'll open up a window where a customer can post their uh, they can log a case so we do not need an extra offline support so i leave it here and then i'll click on next now this is going to take few minutes okay so finishing up and there are two ways of adding this button right now you can go to the code of your site so you can say here paste this code before the closing body tag for each page in my tutorial rack site where you want to make chat available don't place the code in your header so this is you can put this code on every page of your site one of the option is but if it is a wordpress site let's say okay you go to the wordpress site of yours but we are building our site within uh, through experience cloud so we don't do we don't have to do any of that but if you had a site where you want to add this chat button you can copy the code and you can paste this in the body tag now just leave it here next and we are done so we are done with the first part of it which is the creating a queue and whenever a message is received from the customer those message will go to the queue now the next thing we need to do is configure a chat agent so now let's go over to the chat agent okay so type in here so under service chat there is a chat agent configurations okay so we came back to the site here let's go to the setup one more time i'm telling you and then quick find and we go over to the chat agent and this is where we are going to configure define which features are available to your support team when they chat with the customer so this is where you're going to tell them this is what is going to be available to, for your chat agents okay at the back end side of it now chat agent configuration name whatever you want to call it we can say web support configuration let's say and uh, developer name chat capacity omni channel is turned on chat capacity is managed managed through the omni channel so once the omni channel is uh, enabled we'll do we'll we'll turn it on and then it is going to take care of the capacity and here sneak peek enabled what does this do this option lets agents see what visitors are typing before they send the message okay so if you want this option means when before the chat the before the customer hits the send if the chat agent wants to know what he is about to send so they can be ahead of it ahead of it and they can find their answer right away if you want that functionality you check this checkbox we don't want that at this point play a notification sound for chat request okay so whenever a chat request come if you want a notification sound so that okay the customer person the call center agent can hear it if you want that play a sound when an agent 
gets a new chat request. If you want to enable it, you can check this checkbox. Play a notification sound if Omni Channel loses connection. Now, if you want to do that, if Omni Channel has lost the connection, if you want to play a notification sound so that you can enable it again, then you can check this checkbox. Notifications enabled, enable desktop notification for incoming chats if you want to do that. So it tells you what each of these checkbox is for. Now here, if you want a auto greeting means if you want to uh, say kind of greet the customer, then you can have this message. Hey, we can say, hey, how are you doing? Let's say this is, I'm here to help you. Okay, so this is a greeting message. Now, if, so if you want like your customer name to be added to this message, you can have these available merge fields. You can choose which field are you talking about, visitor name, things like that. So I, I don't want any of that. So I'll just leave it. I just want a simple auto greeting saying, hey, how are you? I'm here to help you, something like that. Okay, this is what the customer is going to see. Now, the next thing is if you scroll down here, disable the auto greeting on transfer conference. If you want to do that, you check this checkbox. So read through it or select the chat users for this configuration it means who will be part of this configuration so we only have one user at the moment but if you have multiple chat agents who can assist the customer you can add those people and also if you want to do it based on profiles okay so let's say anybody who have a profile of system admin who want to enable it for this configuration you can put standard user let's say system admin is another one and let's say if somebody who has a profile of uh, support, okay, custom support profile, means somebody who is only for supporting purposes, then you can add those people. So automatically, these folks will be added to the chat agent, okay? And then chat monitoring enabled, whisper messages enabled, all of this, we'll leave it here. Now, available skills. You can receive all sorts of messages from your customer. Now, if you want to route those messages, based on the skill set. So let's say there can be questions from customers. So let's say you have from with the iPhone accessories business, right? There can be related to their shipment. Okay. If, if they have not received on time or the product has not been delivered. So there can be queries related to the shipment. There can be queries related to the billing. There can be queries related to um, network related, let's say. I'm just making it up, but let's say you have different kind of questions coming from different variety of questions. Now, if you know that, okay, this particular call center agent uh, in, the, let's say his name is Rahul, he's expert in this. So you can have those web skills enabled. If there's somebody who is, who is an expert in network related issues, then you can, and you know that that person's skill set is this. So you can do it based on the skills also. So you can say here, if you don't assign any skills, the agent status list in the supervisor panel will show all agents. Okay. So then you can, this is basically if you want to route based on their skill set. So currently we want to keep it very simple. And uh, now next thing is chat conference conference settings means if you want other agents to be added onto the same chat. So then you can have this chat conference settings. We don't want any of that. Now come down here, chat transfer to chat button, available chat button. So here I'm going to say chat agents for web support. I'm going to move this button and then hit the save. So what I've done so far, I have also configured my chat agent. Now, the last piece of the puzzle is you want to add chat sessions onto your service console app, right? So because that way, whenever a message comes from the customer, somebody from the chat agent, one of the chat agent will see that session coming in, will see the chat, chat and then they'll start responding. So here I will go over to my app manager. So here I'm going to go to the app manager and click on the app manager here and select our service console app. Okay, so here I'm gonna look for control F and I'm gonna say for chat, sorry, I'm gonna look for service console. So if you see here, you have uh, sales, you have uh, sales and we have service and then the next one we have is service console. Okay, so this is the app that is available and then you click here and then we're going to click on the edit. We are going to go over to the navigation item and here from the available list, we'll add the chat sessions on to the right side. So the moment we do this on the service console side, you are having these chat messages or chat window will appear. We have done everything from the back end. Now we need to go to the site and we need to add the chat on the site. And how do we do that? So let's go back here to the, let me refresh the site just to see if it has all the latest stuff. And then I'm going to the components 
and there is a embed service chat now wherever you want this option you can put that over here so i want this wherever you want it i'm going to put it under ask a question now it is saying access to this is not there so we have one more step to do so i'm going to go ahead and copy this link click ok and access to this so let me just paste those uh, links that are coming up both are pretty much the same but let's just uh, want to make sure okay so these are the, the this access is not there so we're going to go and click ok but we have the chat deployment is done and then ta da so now you see the agent offline is there now if you want to go ahead and click on preview let's see what happens so when you click on agent offline nothing is happening but at least you have this pop-up coming in now how do i make this available so now let's go back to our backend which is let's go back to our service console and uh, let's say over here if i go to the service console and you have this omni channel right so now the reason you have agent is offline because this omni channel is offline I am going to turn it to available and once you do that if you go over to the site and you refresh this you will see that there is once we click on okay okay one thing we need to do we have to add this site so there are two settings once you look at the messages we have to go to the settings and here under the security and on the security level we'll go ahead and change it to relaxed click okay and the other thing is it has told us if you read those messages that came it, this is what it says you have enabled it and also then add the host to the list of trusted host so what i'm going to do is i am going to go to the add trusted site and the link that i got right this one the url this one i'm going to add the site over to here now once i do that everything looks fine and you can see chat with an export so now this is the chat is working fine now let me preview it because i want to see how things are so this is what the message is right so the pika khanna let's say the customer name is simran last name is alok email is sim.alok at gmail.com let's say subject is issue with product and start chatting so now this message is going to be appeared on to the backend. So you can see here, this is chat agents. And then the moment you click on this, you are going to see this chat session enable. And here, see the first message the customer is going to see is, hi, how are you? I'm here to help you. This is what he is seeing it. Okay. This is the chat agent has configured that. Okay. Anytime I'm able to talk to the customer, the first question I want to ask is, hey, how are you? Now Simran is responding. I am doing good. How about yourself okay now this is i this is a customer site now the same message if you go here the the chat agent or the customer agent is going to see hey i'm doing good how about yourself now here i am responding assume i am now the call center guy how can i help so this is the call center agent is asking the customer how can i help now this message is going to be received at the customer side and he is saying now the customer is responding now the customer is saying i ordered a phone case few days back but it hasn't been delivered so this is customer is saying now the same message call center is going to see i ordered a phone case now he's going to ask what is your order number okay so then this is it if the customer got the support he needed he can end the chat or this he from the from the session itself from the call center side also he can end the chat so now we have successfully enabled this chat on our site so we have done the major chunk of it now you have this chat available once you when you can close it and you can say confirm and chat now the customer has ended the chat so you can say close chat now if there's another customer he's going to see it then there's going to be another agent or the same agent has to uh, reply if we have less people in, in the call center site. So this is how you enable chat on your site. So I hope you understood it, all the steps that are involved in it. Try to do it, try to practice along with me so things get clear. You rec build the site, but also you build another site similar to it, okay? And then that way, more you practice, it'll easier to understand. 
So I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.